Hello everybody, it's uh, Chad Trela here at Deep Creek Elementary and uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, requests uh, to, to talk a little bit about the equipment that some people have noticed on the back of the wall when we were doing some of our dances. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about our training stations and our jungle gyms that you see our wall mounted systems for exercising, uh, it's like using fitness bands or body weight training. So I have two pieces of equipment to show you. Uh, what you're going to notice here is that we have uh, a little system of straps that are connected to the wall. And uh, the system allows us to have places to hang, uh, some carabiners with some different weight equipment on it. And it also allows us to adjust uh, different heights depending on what kind of muscle groups we're going to do uh, for the day or the challenges that we're going to be facing uh, during our workout. Uh, the two different pieces of equipment right here, uh, this first one is uh, like a TRX, it is called a jungle gym. And the jungle gym is just basically straps with handles and you use your own body weight to do your training. Here, uh, these are uh, part of the training station and the training station is the entire unit plus these. And uh, this is resistance training. Again, uh, there are a bunch of different configurations. Uh, you have your resistance cables here. Uh, if you want more resistance, you can add cables, and they actually have different thicknesses. Um, and you also have handles that you have attached so that uh, you can do your workout and hold on to the handles and be safe. So these are the two pieces of equipment. I'm going to show you a couple of samples using both. And uh, as you can see here, I actually hang both pieces of equipment up on the wall. And our students here at Deep Creek Elementary have learned how to use these. Uh, we use them with our third, fourth, and fifth grade. Uh, we do very basic, basic activities with them. And as they get to, towards fifth grade, then we start to amp it up a little bit. Uh, first one to show you is a uh, simple row. Um, all of the jungle gyms have a uh, little pinchable adjustment on them. And you can raise or lower the handles based on your ability level. If you want to make it easier, you have it in the middle of your chest. If you want it a little more challenging, you try it at your belly button height. And then the third level is at the middle of the thigh. I'm going to kind of do a, a variation kind of in the middle of my belly. I'm going to lean back with my toes against the wall for balance. And then I'm just going to do a simple row. It's very key when you do these to make sure that your back is nice and straight. You're going to feel your biceps really working and your deltoids and your lats get a good workout here. Again, if you want to add more difficulty, if that was too easy, uh, then we lower it down a little bit. So I'm going to go down to the middle of my thighs, and you're going to see I'm going to be pulling more of my weight, much more challenging. Uh, whenever we get set to these, we want to get lean back first with one foot in front. Now I'm pulling much more of my body, body weight. Woo! Really feel that. Work it. All right, so that's an example of a, a rowing activity, a pulling. We also do pushing activities. So I'm gonna actually lower this down a little bit differently for a, a pulling activity. We're gonna... For assisted push-ups, uh, this time we're gonna have, again, I adjust it to my ability level. I'm gonna put the straps on the outside of my wrist and I'm gonna show come down into a push-up position and then push straight up and down. There are lots of different variations of any of these exercises that you can do. You can do it more like a fly. Really work those pecs. Um, or you can even do tricep extensions. So we just start here and we lean in and we push out. Now that's too easy. What do we do? Scoot those feet back a little bit. Add a little more difficulty. And again, we teach all of our students that basic support is really important, especially as you get into the positions and start to put your weight on your own hands. So uh, we really talk about basic support and being balanced prior to actually starting the exercises. You can do squat activities. So we can do an assisted squat by raising the handles up a little bit higher. Um, you can do squats. So get in your ready position and just squat. And if you need help getting up, you get to a point where you're fatigued, you can use your arms to help you. If you want more of a challenge, you just do it with one hand. If you want more of a challenge, then you can do it one hand, one leg. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, you're really going to feel that. 
can also do uh, explosive drills where um, our students get a hold and they bend and explode. They use their hands to extend the jump. Um, so they also get a, a tricep pull as they jump up into the air and land. So there's lots of really creative ways to use this piece of equipment to get a great exercise. And again, this is called the jungle gym. Very similar to what you see in the commercial TRX. All right, now we're going to talk a little bit about the training stations. And the training station basically is this entire unit. Here, the flat mounts against the wall, uh, and it comes with a set of resistance bands. Uh, so you can adjust the height of the bands depending on the activities that you're going to do. And basically, the first step that you need to be able to do is you're going to take the bands and wrap them around your wrist two times. All of my students know how to do this. Uh, for the safety of the equipment, we wrap it twice and get a grip, and then we move away from the wall. And I'm going to demonstrate a pushing motion. We call these air push-ups in my gym for my kids, and we're just going to start with them on the outside of our wrists, and we're going to step one foot in front, one foot back to get a nice base of support, and then we're just going to do push-ups. I'm going to push the sides of the chest out until the hands are narrow, and then come all the way back. If I want to increase the tension, what do I do? Just move a little bit further away. Oh yeah, feel that a little bit more. Remember, we want to maintain good form. My students do it for a certain amount of time, so whenever they get to that half point uh, of the interval, then we switch legs. So we're both getting both legs out in front, working on those stabilizing muscles. Also great for core, all functional training is. Uh, we can do tricep extensions. We can do all kinds of really great stuff. We can do more like a fly as well, depending on uh, the difficulty you want to add. Uh, we can adjust the height. We can work on uh, pulling motion. So we are going to put one foot in front, one foot back. We do what we call King Kong. Alternating hands up to the chest, working on the biceps. We want to add a load for our legs. We get into a squatting position. We do the same thing here. After maybe four, we switch. In that lunging position and maintain that stability as we do that exercise. So you really feel a great workout. We do another activity uh, that we call the skier, where we start at the very top. We're going to be working on our latissimus dorsi, um, as well as our legs. And so we start up here, kind of pulling, with our feet slightly apart. And we're just going to pull down like we're going down the ski slope. We're going to pull down, shoot them up, and back up. Down the squat, and up. Down the squat, and up. And so you can see, based on some of these moves, that you can really be creative with your workouts, and it's all functional training. Our core is always engaged on this activity because of the way that you have to be, uh, you have to stand. Uh, this is great equipment that you can use all year long. Uh, in your physical education setting, we actually have uh, 15 of these mounted on one side of my gym, and we have just a small hook up at the top, just this piece right here, this little one, up on the other side of the gym because I have a climbing wall. So I have these set up on the other side so I can have my jungle gyms over there and I can have training stations being used over here and really get a great upper body workout, a uh, pushing, pulling workout for my students, engaging their core every single day that they come into physical education class. Obviously safety is a really important part of using any of this equipment, so you want to make sure you go through your safety protocols. And again, the experts on all of this are it, they're not me. Um, I've used them with the students, so I can give you a practical application. But the guys you want to talk to are uh, Foundational Fitness. Uh, so check out foundationalfitness.com. And uh, Mike and John are the true experts. Uh, they're awesome guys. And uh, they'll come out to your school and do trainings for you if you're interested. But again, this equipment is, uh, is a no-brainer. If you coach any kind of athletics, this is the stuff our students need to be doing. Uh, this kind of equipment is going to uh, eliminate uh, most of our joint injuries because they're not pulling ridiculous amounts of weight. Everything that they're doing is through a range of motion, much more safe, much more functional, and this is what the uh, college and the professional athletes are doing now more so that they don't have those joint injuries. So again, check out Foundational Fitness, uh, Jungle Gyms, Training Stations, they have a whole lot of other cool stuff that you can, you can uh, purchase from them as well uh, to use with your kids, but again, just thought I'd showcase some really cool stuff that you can do with your kids. So uh, keep checking back with YouTube. Great to, great to have you um, as a subscriber and tell other folks. And hope to see you again soon.